Hello ladies, it's Mr. O'Sullivan. Today we're going to be looking at rotations. So today's learning target is I can use rotations to transform figures and points in the plane. Whenever you see the word rotation, the thing that Miss Daniel and I would like you to think of right away is that a rotation is just a turn. You are turning your image over. You are turning your image around and so forth. So when I do these examples, there are some rules you have to memorize and they're in this nice little color-coded table below. So a rotation is a transformation that turns a figure about a fixed point called the center of rotation. Here's some notation. So like if you look here, I have this notation where D is the number of degrees and P is the center of rotation. So when I go down here, what I'm saying with this example is I want to rotate the point 7 comma 3 90 degrees about the origin. What I'm saying here is that I want to rotate the point A 60 degrees about point V. I don't know what point V is because it just says V. So when working in the coordinate plane, always assume the center of rotation be the origin unless told otherwise. In our class, we're only going to be rotating about the origin, so don't worry about anything else. Maybe it's like an enrichment activity. I'll make you rotate about other points. Um, a positive angle of rotation turns the figure counterclockwise. So if we look at a clock, this is what we mean by counterclockwise. It's going to go in this direction. A negative angle of rotation turns the figure clockwise. So if I drew a clock, it would go in this direction. This is the negative angle. This is the positive angle. The rotation rules, you have to memorize these. When I rotate 90 degrees, I start with my ordered pair, x, y. When I rotate 90 degrees, I just switch my x and my y, and I make the y value opposite of what it actually is. So I switch x and y, and then I negate my y value. Rotation of 180, I keep my order the same. I just negate my x value and my y value. Rotation of 270, I start with my x, y, I switch them and then I negate my second value or my x value. And then a rotation of 360 is when you come full circle, nothing changes. Let's do some examples. So here's our original image, and I wanna plot this as a rotation of 90, 180, and 270. So we're gonna follow this procedure. So we're gonna do our rotation of 90 degrees first. When I rotate it 90 degrees, I start with my ordered pair, x, y, I switch them. So if I start with a point 3, 1, I'm now going to do 1, 3, because I'm switching them. And now I make my first value opposite of what it actually is. So instead of it being a positive 1, it's a negative 1. Now, when I rotate the point 5, 7, I still switch them. So I'm going to do 7, 5. But again, I make my first value opposite of what it actually is. So this becomes a negative seven. And then last but not least, I have the point eight, three. So I switch them. And I make my first value opposite of what it actually is. So a negative three. Let's plot those points. A prime is negative one, three. B prime is negative 7, 5. And C prime is negative 3, 8. And that's a rotation of 90 degrees. What we're going to do now is we're going to connect those with straight lines. And that's our triangle after a rotation of 90 degrees. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it 180 degrees. So we're rotating our original triangle 180 degrees. So you keep your x and y values in the exact same spot, but this time you just negate the both of them. So I start with a 3, 1, so I end with a 3, 1, but this time I make them both negative. So I have negative 3, negative 1. I start with a 5, 7, so I'm going to keep a 5, 7. But again, make them both negative. I start with an 8, 3, 
I hope you see the pattern. I end with an 8, 3, but again, I just make them both negative. So I'm ending with negative 8, negative 3. Now I'm going to plot those points. I'm going to plot negative 3, negative 1, and that's a double prime. So 1, 2, 3, 1. Negative 5, negative 7 is b double prime, so 4, 5, 2, 3, 7. b double prime, and then c double prime of negative 8, negative 3. And again, this is in relation to your first image, not your second image. This is just rotating your second image 90 degrees and this image 180 degrees. So again, I'm going to connect those points with some straight lines. And there I have it. This is a rotation of 180 degrees. Now, we're going to do our rotation of 270. So when I do my rotation of 270, I just flip my value. So I'm going to do y comma x. So if I start with a 3, 1, I'm going to end with a 1, 3. And you make your second value opposite of what it actually is. So I'm going to make my 3 negative. I start with a 5, 7. So I'm going to flip them. So I'm going to have 7 comma 5. And then I negate my second value. I start with an 8, 3, so I'm going to end with a 3, 8, so I'm going to flip them. So I have my 3, 8 flipped. And then I make my second value negative. Let's plot these points. 1, negative 3. That's a triple prime. Seven negative five. That's b triple prime. And then c triple prime is three negative eight. And now we're going to connect those points with a straight line. And there's our rotation of 270 degrees. So these are our rules we have to memorize. So we are just turning our image. If you have any questions, please email myself or Ms. Daniel. There is no Delta Math assignment for today's lesson. It is just this Ed Puzzle assignment. Have a great day, ladies.